Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydroneer. Uh, and as you can tell by the mess around here, I have been busy. A uh, couple of things uh, regarding the pressure system. I am aware of the pressure system. I am aware of the the out, uh, inlet, outlet pipe, whatever it's called. Uh, pumping out at 50%, every pipe or block goes through, dropped by 1%. Uh, pressure chambers increased by 25%. I'm just being lazy about it. But I have done some work here, and I have uh, actually fine-tuned the system, and it's actually working pretty good. So what I've done is I've done the smart thing. I got my in intake there, and that's outputting at 50. I've counted to here, so right about here, it's down to about 25%. Three boosters puts it up to 100%. By the time it gets over to here, it's dropped down to about 75%. This last one is enough to boost the rest of the system to its full capacity. I have dropped it down to 6 though. Uh, I am aware of the uh, the animation range or the, the machine functioning range which was like 20 blocks. So I'm gonna have to sort of design today's build around that. And I thought I slept already. We'll go take care of that quickly. Uh, I have discovered a few bugs. You can actually see one up in the sky there on the lower left of the screen. Which is right there. That's actually an iron crucible. I uh, had a bit of a bug with the the, the magnet on a stick. Uh, I was trying to recreate it here, but it didn't actually happen. Uh, what had happened is I had this thing running. It was actually running pretty good. Uh, before I continue my story, I'll actually go on about the, the pressure. Now, I think, like, I was having a pretty good issue with the rocks building up there. Uh, what I didn't realize was that they weren't getting enough pressure up there and it was sort of stalling at the top of the conveyor belt so when the next chunk showed up it joined and then it plugged up the the hopper so ever since i increased the pressure so i think right at the end there it's probably still 75 ish um, could, it's probably a few few off but it's not too bad i know it's going to be higher pressure there than it is over here but that's just how it is right like i tried to Get it in the center, I'm trying to have it uniform so it comes down, branches off evenly on both sides. Don't know if that matters or not, but either way, it's no more than 25 blocks, so it's it's good. Um, hold on, my brain just went sour. Oh yes, about the pressure. Now, what I didn't know, and this is actually something that is very good to know, is this is a nugget I was getting before. After I adjust the pressure, these are the nuggets I'm getting now. They are bigger. And some of them are actually really big. Uh, I noticed with the gems too, I'm actually getting larger gems out now too. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, I tried to cheat the system. I actually put three boosters right at the very end here. Tried to get like 150 pressure, but uh, 100 is the max. And these weren't actually getting anything bigger out of that. But that is working. So, uh, but yeah, anyways, with uh, that thing up there, uh, I was doing... I was doing a test because I want to make sure that this is actually working. And it is working. And... Uh, if you wonder why it's empty, it's a bit of a bug. Oh, hang on, let me actually get it in there. Uh, if you actually look, I actually loaded up the save file after I had done some mining. I'll get it in there, hang on. That's bad. But I came in and the crucibles were empty. I'm like, oh my god, I lost all that gold. But it's still there. It just wasn't drawing. Same with the iron and the shards there too. So. What happened was uh, I decided to check to make sure it was actually working and uh, one of these bars, I think it was this one here, that was the first iron cleanout I did. I haven't touched the gold yet at all. I had it going for about 45 minutes and I just decided to check the iron and that's what I got. So that's pretty good. This one here was when I started realizing I was, I was having, I had the crucible in the wrong spot and it was all piling up around the outside and plus going inside. And that's where that came in. So I took it out, put it down, and used the magnet to get all the, the nuggets in there. And then I tried to grab some more, and all of a sudden the, the crucible started floating. No matter what, no matter what I did, I could not get it back on the ground. I tried putting more stuff in there. I tried melting it. I tried doing whatever. As soon as I let go of it, it floated up like a balloon, and it just stopped there. But before I did that, I actually dumped it out, and that was the second ingot I got out of there. So six grand worth of iron. And I haven't touched the gold yet, and I have actually run the machine a little bit. And I also forgot we got $22,000 ring, we got about seven grand in swords. And I'm going to get this running just a little bit to show you how it's running now. Uh, I had a pressure chamber here. I had to take the shard out because it was too much pressure and it was actually missing the crucibles. But so far we're doing pretty good. Um, 
Also, regarding uh, the extra filters, I see everybody do. I don't see any at any point to it because as soon as one filter goes the whole system shuts down anyway so who cares all right so let's turn the conveyor on first oh oops what's going on here ah that's the problem you know what it would be nice if the filters would spark when the, the water's not even turned on, so you know they're broken before you go turn the system on. Okay, what's going on now? Wrong ones, that's why. <laughs> that's what I want. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn these on. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be building a setup to get 24 of these running. Now, right now, I have six set up. Uh, excuse me a minute, let me get by here. Uh, six set up, that way I can keep them all within range. Now, I'm going to take these six here. Let me get out of here. And uh, mirror it right here. Now, this here is going to be that back wall there. I'm putting the window up there, so not only do I have a walkway so I can... Uh, repair any machines that get broken. I can have the harvesters on this side, the ram drills on this side, but I can also access the power shards. So there's going to be one power shard there to power these, uh, to boost these six drills and conveyors. And yeah, so I'm going to have two that way. And then on the other side, I'm going to take the whole setup of the 12 miners and I'm going to mirror it. So I'm going to flip it over so the conveyors are all coming this way. Gonna those ones are going to feed onto two main lines, which are feeding onto another line up here. And I'm going to have these two conveyors from both sides join up to a main sorting line which goes down here. And then I'm going to have maybe a three block wide area for me to just for plumbing and valves and the whole nine yards. So anyways, uh, let's not make noise for nothing. Let's actually get some you know, mining going. We'll let it go a minute or two and then, and then we'll check and see how much gold we have. But yeah, noise, it's been much faster running a lot better still was noisy but definitely bigger nuggets coming out and uh, it's all it is just like a stream of nuggets coming out of here with one drill already already broken I'm out of wrenches too I had a tool kit here somewhere did I not yes I did oh the sprint and blockage already of course I know I can I keep grinders up there if I wanted but uh, it just takes up room, that's no problem. Oh well. But anyways, that was the setup, and that's also why I'm going to have a bit of a catwalk up here. I want to have these walkways so I can go up here and actually get rid of the dirt. I can always drop it down between miners or whatever, just place it on the walkway, and then whenever I get time, I'm going to hop up here and just, just manually feed it in. That's also why the wall's up there, so spray. But it doesn't always work. But hey, I don't think any system works perfectly in this game. Needless to say, it is getting a lot of gold. So, let's uh, shut everything off now, we'll turn the drills off, let the other system go. I was thinking about getting the actual ram drills themselves on their own valve and separate from the conveyors so I don't have to worry about cleaning out everything out af afterwards because I know the dirt clumps get stuck there, but eh, whatever. Anyways, uh, let's, I'm going to let that melt a minute and did I not have anything in there? Oh, yeah, that's right. I had stuff in there, but it glitched out, so I gotta put a nugget in there to melt it. That was iron. I was trying to trying to recreate the bug, but these are the gems we're getting now, so it's, it's not bad. They're not worth a whole lot, but they're worth something. Okay, now get that little nugget out. Yeah, that's what that was. That's a 250 bucks. It's not even worth it. But now, for the best part. Uh, oh, I'm not even going to bother. I've had issues with that. So, uh, let's actually get rid of that. And there we go. Now, I have thought about making a, ne a necklace, but yeah, this is 250 bucks. That's $6. This, I have no idea. So, we're going to make a nice big red ring. And go ahead and set the uh, ring. And I think we'll actually make an axe with those. I think that was uh, one we need two for. We'll do that, and 
Ah, let's go for a nice big emerald on this. And... Okay. Now, here's a moment of truth. How much is this? Uh, my original design of what I needed, I was going to need about 80,000, but I think now, with uh, going down to six instead of eight in a row, I think I only need about maybe 60, 55,000. But... Oh... It's shy. It doesn't want me to know. <laughs> Come on. Get on there. Oh no. It bugged out. I didn't get my gold. <sighs> That's a shame. No, it's right. Yeah. Okay, well, now I know. Gotta do a clean out. Still. Got that one. In that case, I'm going to let this run for a bit, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's been about, probably overall, about an hour of runtime. Tried to clean up a little bit. Oh, i got to turn that off. Oh, and uh, I don't know why, but I'm getting a lag. I tried to clean up as many entities as I could, and I think it's the gems that are building up that are starting to cause the problem. Actually, I was going to turn this off. That's what I was going to do. Uh, i got to shut this off, and we'll void the system. Which one was it? Was that one? I think I don't know. Pair them all just because. And then, uh, yeah, this was my original setup. Like uh, before I started recording, I originally had it set up like this, where I had one pressure chamber to each setup, so I was getting full pressure. Uh, the problem with that is there's a lot of chambers to replace. Now, uh, you know, as I was saying, I was going to have a wall here where I was going to have a second row. I almost want to keep that here, but the problem with these is for some reason you can't place them vertical. You can rotate them on this axis, but you can't actually go up and down like the pipes and all that stuff. So that was a bit of an issue unless I have them going with another elbow and then up like that, which I might do. Because then that way I'll get better pressure. I'm still having these plug up on me, and I know I could put a, a grinder at the end, but then it be a little more expensive. It uh, could work, but the problem is, is it actually catching on the hopper, and that's the problem. So what am I doing here? I am turning on... I'm sorry. We're going to do a clean out here. Open up that. Oh. Actually, we'll leave that one. Clo open that one. We close. Yes. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let that go. Uh, I'd imagine there's quite a bit. Like, look at this. It's just all over the place getting huge nuggets out of here but I think that's my lag problem right there I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with these things can't melt them down there's just so many I might have to spend the time to actually sell them uh, there is something I do want to try uh, I have seen a, a couple of people actually put money into the well and get a big boot I've never seen anybody actually try to put a gold nugget in there or an iron nugget, or a gem for that matter. So I want to try that. We'll just see what happens. Uh, maybe somebody has actually tried that. I have not seen everybody's videos. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. So let's go ahead and do a clean out. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather whatever I can here. I'm not going to use the magnet on a stick because, yeah. Anyway. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. I decided to clean up, uh, cut up a couple of gems while I was at it. Uh, needless to say, I made the mistake of trying to actually cut a whole bucket at once. Needless to say, I forgot I could dump the bucket and yeah, we got uncut gems everywhere. Uh, this might take a while. I'm going to try to set up the grinding wheel on certain spots. All I have to do is take the bucket, put it basically wherever I'm going to be dropping. So something like this, cut, and then should be able to drop right into the bucket, like so. That way it goes a little bit, little bit quicker. But let's see, we we got a, a ring to make. Uh, we got a green power ring. Let's see if we can find the biggest one here. Uh, probably about as big as it's gonna get. Oh, and I remember I already had a couple already cut up. So uh, let's hope I didn't lose any gold. Uh, I'm so worried about this. I've already lost a lot of gold already. I don't even know how much I lost. Uh, Dre, he lost a 
a huge necklace, and I have no, I don't even know how much it was worth, but, oh, let's see, some good money here. <gasps> wow. An hour. 51,000 gold in an hour. <gasps> that was worth it. That was worth it. Kind of supports what I was aiming for with this project I'm going to work on. About a quarter million an hour. Is it possible? We shall find out. Uh, ooh. Oh, that sapphire looks mighty tempting to me. All right, now where is that hammer? And bang. 66 thousand dollars wow 66 plus the ring the other ring 87 Ooh, and the swords like a hundred grand <gasps> Ooh, we still got us axe to make too don't we uh yeah we do okay there it is that's the bad bar and that bar and that bar be an axe oh uh so what i'll do is I will get these made, and I will meet you at the stock market with whoever's got the highest price. Okay, here we are. And, uh, I hope I don't have a problem. There's apparently, uh, dagger... Okay, good. So, uh, yeah, everything's basically down except for the daggers. So, let's have a nap. And... Bring these are up. Let's go for another one. Go for another one. Come on. I guess you gotta wait a, a few seconds before you can sleep again. Sure, I'll take it. Alright, let's get everything up on the table. I wanna sell it all at once. Okay, what do we got for that? 75. Take uh, this dagger. I want to see six digits. It's 12. Because everything's up right now except for swords, but I don't have a sword, so I don't care. And I'll take 53 on the ring. So it's 13. Now I got all three rings here, so I don't know which one's which. That was a 20. How much was that one? Give me that ring back. Come on. Let's see here. 13. Yeah, I get about 12.8 for that. Okay, so we're at 36. Oh. Yeah, wow. That was $68,000. And then this one's going to be El Cheapo there. Yeah. I don't think I can sell my gems here, can I? Nope. Apparently not. And I have a dagger stuck in my bucket somewhere. Alright, let's... <laughs> anyway. Gotta love early access games. Stay. Okay, now give me your friend. And put you on top. And hit the button before it all disappears. Again, I would love to see a huge stack. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some shopping, and I'm going to do some building, and uh, I'm going to take what you see there, I'm going to multiply it by three times, join it together, and we're going to make some serious hydro coins. I'll be back. While we're here, I actually forgot to bring an iron nugget, a gold nugget. I might run back over that claim there and pick up a chunk, but let's see what happens when we drop an emerald in here. Nothing. Didn't even disappear. Drop money in there, though, it'll disappear for good. Hmm. Maybe doesn't like emeralds? Let's see what else we got here. Try an uncut gem. See if that does anything. No. I'm wondering if it has to be a certain well. I wonder if it doesn't do it to this one. I wonder if it's got to be uh, the other one there. I don't know. We'll check it out some other time. Anyways, I got some shopping to do, and I got some very, very, very magical truck loading to do. 
huh, I didn't notice that. There's actually a gauge on the side of the truck. I just noticed that now. I saw it earlier. I don't know if it was actually functioning. It is. So it tells you how much water you got left in there. So even though it looks like it's empty, it was only it was still half full. Uh, needless to say, I am done. It is actually the next day for me. Uh, I have actually spent the entire day working on this. Uh, down to about 34 grand. So you can imagine what I built. You probably saw it in the intro already. Uh, I did have to come by to pick up a few things here. Uh, I am basically ready to go. I have everything locked in place. And surprisingly, no lag. Not anymore, anyways. Uh, how many do I need? Mm, I'll grab one more just in case. Keep losing these things everywhere. Uh, needless to say, I cleaned up all those gems and that made a huge difference in the lag. Uh, all it's left to do is buy tools. Now... I may have gone overboard on this. I didn't realize what I was... Well, I knew what I was trying to do. I knew what I was up against. I didn't realize what was going to be involved. Well, I did, but I don't think it really occurred to me. Uh, needless to say, trying to build very large, complex structures one block at a time like this, only be able to carry one thing at a time, not easy. No. Needless to say, loading up that truck was a pain in the ass, too. Uh, just for loading up things like the concrete blocks, which you'll see in a minute. I actually had to drive the truck right in here. Uh, I was trying to get it right onto the buying pad, but I could not get it in here. So what I was doing is I was loading everything up on here. I bring the truck right into about here. And I stand on the gate, and I, just so I could actually grab the stuff. So I just pick it up, turn around, pick it up, turn around, instead of having to hop back and forth trying to save time. But... Uh, apparently Max is working on a way for uh, bulk purchasing, making it a little bit easier. I would think uh, just a drive through you just blow up your truck, pay for it, and drive out would be the best way to do it. But uh, who knows? I honestly don't know how many parts I have here. Like, I have probably got about 300 <laughs> concrete blocks, uh, which you will see in a moment. But let me load this up, and I'll bring you back when uh, we're getting there. And here we are, the, the lag factory. I'm going to call it the RAM factory, but uh, it's going to be a lag factory in a minute. But it should work. And it should actually work pretty good, considering the fact I'm getting rid of the, the entities immediately. Uh, everything has been hammered down. Every single block that I can get to, except for like uh, elbows inside these blocks here. Uh, everything is in place. I don't have to worry about accidentally taking stuff out. I don't want to change or fixing filters or changing shards or or what have you. Uh, but let's go up here, I guess. Uh, so what I've done is the same idea. I had went up a three high wall and I gave myself an actual catwalk. Don't mind the junk. I'm lazy. Put that there for now. It doesn't need to be up here. It's just in the way. Oh, I found a, a shard bar. Cool, I could use that. Uh, this is going to be the main base of operations. This is where I'm going to keep all my tools and all that stuff. So at least I have easy access to all the machines. So I can go over here. I can actually access the uh, yeah. I can actually access the levers of the the ram drills from here. I can get over here. I can fix the harvesters if I need to. If I fall down the harvesters, well, I can always get back down in here and climb back up. Now. The question is, am I going to be able to keep this thing running without any jam-ups or anything like that? That's kind of why I have gave myself easy access. I was thinking about getting more blocks going along here too, but then it makes it difficult to access the machines down below and the whole nine yards. Uh, so what I've done is I do have the main valve over there. I have the th three filters. You know what? People say four filters are better than one. It doesn't really matter. I had one filter going for a while and I didn't have any problems with that one filter and then I go and get three or four and then they start failing on me. Uh, needless to say, it doesn't matter how many filters you have, I still have to repair these machines. So yeah. But anyways, I got three boosters there, which uh, I think right at that point is maxed out at 100%. Then another one up in here when it comes back to the system, that brings it back up to 100%. There's a, a main valve here and that's going to be the, the main main valve over there. And then this branches off and then it comes down this way here uh, and here it actually splits off it goes down and it feeds all the conveyor lines uh, this one here goes across and feeds the harvesters and then that's the same at, on all sides so all the conveyors and the harvesters are on one line uh the the, the these long conveyors are just coming off of this line here and then 
this line here is actually what feeds the ram drills. The ram drills I have on their own valve, so then that way I can keep the conveyors running and the harvesters just to clean out the entire system because I know when dirt clumps stay on, stuck on the conveyor belt, when you save and reload or whatever, that it doesn't always pick up and you have to actually get it moving for it to go. So hopefully that's going to save issues on this end. Uh, as far as that goes, as long as I keep this pressure going, it should be okay. Uh, other than that, all stuff for me to do is uh, load up all the pressure chambers and let's see if this thing actually runs. Okay, I am ready to go. Well, I'm not ready, but I'm ready to turn it on anyways. I uh, just got to put one more bar in, and then we're good to go. I don't know how long these are going to last. Uh, these are, are roughly around 4 kilos. I don't know how long they're going to last. We're going to find out. I don't know how long the wrenches are going to last. I do realize I don't going to need a lot more wrenches than what I have. Uh, but what I want to do first is I want to make sure that the system, uh, conveyor system is actually running properly. Uh, so, I wish there was a way to tell if these were turned on or off. I'm assuming since I placed them in, they should be turned off. So, let's go turn the main on, fix any filters we have to. And we're good. Unless they're bugged. Well, find out. Oi, up, up we go. Getting good power on those. Wow, I don't know I apologize. <laughs> uh, what I want to do though is I actually want to see how well uh, the conveyors are working. Mainly this end and uh, how it's dumping in because I put the the booster on. I don't know if it's needed, but it might overshoot. So bear the noise a minute. We're gonna run this through. See what happens. If I actually drop it on the conveyor, it might help. Let's try this again, shall we? Or maybe it just went so fast I didn't even see it. Okay, let's get over here. Okay. And... I think I can take the booster out. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, take this. Get out of there. There we go. I think I could turn that one off. I don't think it needs as much power. Be nice if there's a way to actually fine tune it. And I know I'm doing one nugget at a time. I want to make sure that it's going to be able to sort everything fast enough and uh, get it in the cop uh, the crucibles. Because honestly, if I let this thing go without catching those entities and melting them down right away, the lag is going to be insane. Alright, let's see how far it shoots out. And it got stuck. Of course it did. Um, hmm. Let's try that again. Try with an iron nugget, I guess. Uh, I know it's not the conveyor. The conveyor's definitely got power. It's going to still have at least 60% by the time it gets there. Hey, what do you do? Didn't even see if I made it in or not. I guess one way to find out, isn't there? Okay, uh, I'm going to shut this off for a second. As it is noisy. like being in Utopia. Anyway, I gotta turn all these things on. I can reach them. There we go. And I'll bring you back because I got 24 of them to do. Okay, we are ready to go. I just had to do a bit of a clean out one of the conveyors. Um, not one of the, the miners that still had some dirt in there. So what I'm gonna do is I did actually find some stuff on the original line here. So I freed that up, loosened it up, and we're gonna just see how it goes through the system first, and then we're gonna turn the drills on. And pray that I don't break the game. Run! I'm gonna make sure it's all going in. Here it comes. Close enough. We have a successful run. Ram time. Oh, uh, 
turn, yeah, turn them on all individually. There's six. There's another six. Oh, it's getting loud. There's another six. And there's another six. Now, everything should be in draw range. Here it comes. Oh my god, look at all that. I was thinking about building a bigger wall, but it seems to be okay. Oh, yeah, we got dirt through. That's why I put the extra conveyor on there. Oh my god, the lag. It's like throwing handfuls of it. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit. Deal with some uh, blockages over here and... Uh, I'll bring you back when the game lags me to uh, kingdom come. Anyway, I shall return. Well, I can. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, well, I can honestly say the game can't handle me. This is way too much. Like, it, it, I, I can't even repair the machines. It's just like so much lag trying to run and deal with the dirt clumps. And I think what's going on is just so much going on. The game just doesn't know what to do. Come on. We all know this was going to happen. We all saw it coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it's hard to deal with that, like two frames a second, but don't matter. It won't go anywhere, I'll just block the system. But see, even that, the conveyor had trouble lifting that up. It's not like that doesn't have the pressure. The game just got so much going on. Oh, go away. You're going to be blocked anyway, so whatever. So what I might do is I might try to tough this out for a minute just look at the mess over there and uh i'll bring you back we'll do a quick clean out and go from there okay i'm back and it has been an absolute mess things got <laughs> seriously out of hand and i was trying to like, clean up the dirt and it was just so laggy but as soon as i shut all the machines off back to 60 frames a second but anyways uh let's see what we got in that like 10 minutes of actual runtime. I think it was running for like 10 minutes. I just had to shut everything down because it was just. Well, I shut the, the, the ram drills off anyway because it was just way too much dirt. So, let's see what we got out of that little fiasco. 20,000, and this was just like 10 minutes. 10 minutes of runtime. Wow. That's good. It was extremely laggy. I'm actually tempted to break it down to three. Like, look at all this. It just jammed up so fast. I think the, there was just so much going on. The game couldn't really keep up with the dirt. So maybe what I'll try to do. I think we'll split the system in half. Uh, trying to figure out where I got. And. Should be able to do that. Just take that out. So uh, yeah. Let me uh, set back up. And then I'm going to get two of them running. See how laggy it is. Maybe I can make some money today. Okay, I'm back, and needless to say, the lag is just too much. I guess too many, too many conveyors. That's pretty much it. I like, you know having those long conveyor lines doesn't help much, and neither does not putting the crucible back in. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. So I guess I'm gonna clean up around here, try to salvage what I can, and then just call it from here. Uh, well, at least we know what the limits are of the game now. Uh, and I think uh, what I'll do is uh, between now and the next episode, I'll go through all this dirt. Try to see what we can get, and then maybe, uh, maybe we'll go down play with the Goliaths or something like that. I do not know. I do know that are broken, but uh, at the same time, too, we got relics we need to find. So, whoa. We will take care of that. Wow, that's a lot of gold. That was, again, that was like five minutes. I split the system up and we had half the machines running and I got all this gold that actually made it into the system. I'm actually curious to see how much this is. I'll clean up everything up off the floor too. So uh, let me gather this up, melt it up, and then we'll do do away and... You know, I gotta admit, these have been some pretty big nuggets that have been coming out of there. Which is good. I means you're getting a lot of money a lot really fast. Until it lays you all to hell and you can't do anything. But to be quite honest, it's the conveyors that are doing it. Even with uh, half the system on, or uh, 
have the system off, it still gets quite laggy. I know it's not really what we'll do or intended, but let's see what we got out of this one. Uh, four grand for literally a couple of minutes. So that's not bad. Uh, system is laggy as all hell. I definitely gotta think about what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, Obviously, conveyor, too many conveyors is definitely the issue. So what I'm, like I said, what I'll try to do is I'll probably get this going sometime off camera, clean up all the dirt, and see if we can get at least six of these things running, and hope that I don't have any issues. Maybe what I'll do is I'll work on these six here, or twelve, I should say, these six, no six. So at least that way I can see them. Because my biggest problem right now is I can't actually see the the extractors or the ram drills over here. Uh, ram drills, I don't care if they they break down because, you know, at least I don't have to worry about dirt clumping up. When these things start breaking down, that's where you start having problems. Got like gold everywhere. That's a good thing, though. But anyways, I'm going to call this one here. Uh, i got a pass to clean up, and I'm sure you won't forget about the leg. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, leave me a like. As always, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, if you're not lagging, you're not trying hard enough. Later.